going to right click right here the start button at the bottom left corner of the screen so you're going to right click right there okay so once you're there you're gonna go where it says system so once you right click the, the start button you're going to click where it says system so select system so right click and then select system okay so now this will open this window and now if you go under system and you go to where it says install memory it should tell you how much RAM you have so as you can see here I have 4 gigabytes of RAM and by the way as you can see this also tells you uh, information about your processor so as you can see I am running the Intel Core 2 Quad CPU Q8200 clock at 2.3 gigahertz okay and it also tells you if you're running 64-bit or 32-bit so very useful thing to know now the second way that you can do this is by using uh, the run tool so to do that you're going to right click the start button again so you're going to right click the start button the start button and this time you're going to select run so this time you're going to select run so right click and select run and now after you do this you're going to type this command right here this command msinfo 32.exe and there you go msinfo32.exe and click OK and there you go and if you go to where it says install physical memory this will tell you how much RAM that you ha you have on your computer so again as you can see it says 4 gigabytes of RAM and this also tells you how much virtual memory you have virtual memory is based on your hard drive so this also tells you how much you have left so really useful thing to know and to use also another way you can open this tool the system information tool is by simply typing system is by clicking the start button is by clicking the start button not right clicking and type system information and it will open the same window okay so you can also type system system information from the start menu and then it will be on the same screen okay so as you can see it is that easy to check how much RAM you have on Windows 10 so if you enjoyed this video please subscribe for more thanks for watching